I don't want you to go. I said, who's going to talk to me at night before I go to sleep? Mama? Jonathan? Alex? Maybe Kiki. I'm just kidding. It's really life. not that okay. fast. Maybe not Kiki. I'm slow. Not <laughs> Good morning, guys. It's actually like afternoon right now. And I've decided to... Hold on. Hold on, Farrah Gray. Hold on. Hold on. I've decided to re-listen to Rillionaire by Farrah Gray. Or as he would say, Farrah Gray. I think that's how he pronounces his name. Uh, so I'm listening to my Audible, obviously, and I just wanted to play a joke on you and do it really, really fast. So you think it's sped up, but then I can slow down and you can still hear it uh, sped up. And here's what I do. When I read a book, I usually, for the uh, third or fourth time when I listen to it, I will uh, listen it to it. What? I can't even speak. I listen to it like twice as fast. I listen to it twice as fast because... Now I know what the book is about and I just need to be reminded of what it's all about. So once again, I'm updating you on what I'm doing on Audible. And Audible is awesome. You listen to books while you work out, do whatever, run around, hike. If you want to get a free book for the first time, you can go to audible.com slash Olga K to get a free copy of your whatever book you want to get. So I'll post the link uh, to Audible below. If you guys sign up for the first time, you can get a free book. But... Farrah Gray, I talked about him before and I read his book and I tweeted it out saying that your book is freaking amazing and he said thank you and uh, we really haven't really spoken that much since but while I was in Vegas, he lives in Vegas, uh, while I was in Vegas he's the serious entrepreneur who became super super successful by the time of uh, he was 14 years old and his story is absolutely amazing. You guys should read that book. If, if this is going to be your first book that you read on Audible or listen to, it should be this book. It's really inspiring. So anyway, so I went to Vegas and since I was there for like three days I reached out to him and I said, hey I'm going to be in Vegas, would you like to meet? And he said, yes! He's in wonderful brilliant young men and we talked about lots of different uh, business ideas and ventures and the things and he loved my socks he said Olga I love your socks I think they're gonna do really well uh, so I'm really excited about that but also we talked about like websites and there's a couple of businesses that he's launching had to do with uh, online presence like websites and stuff like that so it was very imp inspiring and fun where am I going with this story? I'm not sure, other than if you admire somebody and you think somebody did a good job at something, like reading his book, I was crying, and then I was so motivated to work harder, and it was just it was just a great experience so I decided to tell him that publicly so you guys probably saw that tweet and if you haven't, search it on Google um, so I reached out and he reached out back and bam, we could talk after that. So and then I met him and he's very inspiring and really fun. And for those of you that ask me, where do I get my inspiration or motivation? Honestly, people like him. When I see somebody that works harder than me and who's smarter or whatever else they might have that I admire, um, it makes me be motivated. It makes me work harder and do whatever else. So, if you want to get his book, it's Realionaire on Audible. Audible.com slash Olga if you want to get a free book. Post, post the link below. Meanwhile, before the sun goes down, I decided to uh, do a little inventory here. And here's all the mooshwas. Spank, no ears. Fred with ears. Lily, no ears. Spank with ears. Fred, no ears. Lily with ears. So I laid them all out and I was counting because there are a couple of pairs that I want to give away for free and there's just, I've been doing like all these different things. I'm taking a couple of them to playlist. So I was trying to figure out how many I have left and, and then people have been buying them. I'm like, oh, I need to do inventory before it's too late. It's the worst when somebody's buying something online and let's say I'm out of stock and then they can't buy it. So that would be really bad. So I decided to do inventories. So that's what I've been doing. It's been so fun. I've been like counting every single one of them. It's like I've been touching every single one of them. Speaking of moosh walks, this vlog is going to be a little bit short because it's the weekend and I really want to put it up. Um, so it's not going to be a lot. I have installed this new feature and it's reused. First of all, I fixed the website. If you haven't been on it for a while, now all the pictures are even and they look nice. And we did a photo shoot together and it was fun. So you go to each each design and look there's different pictures sideways it's like 
Hey, I'm Spank and I'm mad at myself. Ooh, look at me close up. Yes, you like it? Look at my label. This is what it looks like. This is me laying down. This is me laying down again. So it's pretty fun. So and then you scroll, by the way, thank you for liking it on Facebook and pinning it and uh, tweet, tweeting it and Google Plusing it. Uh, that means a lot, you guys. That really helps a lot because it's a new thing and not many people know about it. So it's really awesome. And then so down here you can go and you see 16 reviews. And you let's read a couple of reviews. First one is, and most of those people uh, bought the sock and they got it, so that's why they're reviewing it. And it says, I love it, heart. And then, love them. Spank was the perfect Valentine's Day gift for my lady. Thank you so much. Spank with ears, love. So adorable. I purchased Spank with ears for my 14-year-old daughter, and she absolutely loves them. She got so many compliments on them. I immediately purchased her Fred and Lily too. Thank you. That's amazing. Thank you. And then it says, now she has three pairs uh, that she can mix and match them. Uh, they're such fun. They're such fun, and we hope and we hope that you design more. I will. Actually, I am in the process of designing more. I'm going to be releasing them, hopefully, fingers crossed, May 1st. And once these are sell out, you guys know they are sold out forever. It's like, oh, I'm mad at myself again. Okay, so Fred and his reviews are, these socks are not only adorable, but so comfortable too. Thank you. My daughter wanted these. She says they're soft and keep her feet warm. They're so adorable. Love the ears. I'm a man, and yes, I did buy these, so for those of you guys, you can get them. I love Olga K so much, and the socks are awesome and comfy. Thank you, guys. That's the main thing I wanted them to do, is to be comfortable, because some socks are not comfortable. Awesome. My daughter loves these socks. My daughter loves these socks. Thank you, Mooshwalks. So, I have this new feature. I'm so excited, and it makes me so happy that you guys leave really good positive reviews. There are a couple of bad reviews, um, but they literally just said, oh, it took forever to get them, but people forgot that it was a pre-order and it was not actual socks. I didn't have the socks at my house yet, so that's why it took forever, uh, but now it takes very fast. I literally ship them out within a day or two, and I pack them myself. You saw them. So, guys, it means so much. Uh, you have no idea how many businesses I've discovered, and they have zero reviews, which makes it really difficult for me to make a decision whether or not get their product, and the fact that you're leaving so many re reviews, it's helping other people people so much to make a decision so thank you so I'm really curious you guys if you've gotten the socks let me know in the comments below what you've gotten and if you haven't gotten it why not which I understand sometimes it's the answer is uh, I'm not interested or I don't have enough money like I get it but let me know I'm just doing a survey because this is something I'm really passionate about socks obviously I'm wearing them obviously they're like all over my living room and they're all over my bedroom and it's like <laughs> If somebody ever comes to this house, it's all like sock mania. Like, I love it so much. So your feedback feedback is very important. So let me know in the comments below why you wouldn't get it or what kind of socks you're looking forward to seeing in the future because the goal is to release a new design once a month, but I can only do it if they're super successful because it is. It was really expensive. I literally spent all of my savings. I'm just getting real with you now. I, I spent most of my savings uh, putting together, like paying for these socks and uh, and hopefully it's gonna work out and I can sell them all and make the money back. And if not, I'll continue doing it until like, I'm out of money completely, and but I'm really excited. I think I'm just really proud. Like it's finally something that I, you know, I can put my name on and be like, yes, I'm proud of this stuff. This is amazing. So my next goal would be to create like some fun T-shirts. Not like t-shirts that everyone has but something like unique and different so I've been I've been sitting on this idea for a while or maybe some kind of like a sweater that is cool kind of like like the fox culture but way cheaper obviously so uh, so I have lots of ideas that are running in my head and if you guys like it let, let's say you don't have the money or you're not interested in buying the socks if you can just go to the site and like thumb up your favorite reviews or leave a review if you got a sock that would help so much I just really want to know your thoughts or if you don't want to review it because I know some people are afraid to you know um, leave comments or they don't know what to say the proper way or whatever you can always go here and share it with your friends pin it or tweet it or like it or google plus it as you see nobody is google plusing anything because nobody's using google plus nobody 
Nobody, 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 nobody. And also, I've been, I've been, you've probably seen me tweet a lot, but people that are wearing the socks, they're Instagramming them, and I always ask, hashtag mooshwalks, so I can find them. Because if you just, but also, the other reason is because right here, if you go to the site and you click hashtag mooshwalks, all of these socks that you guys bought, your pictures would be here. As long as they're like visible picture, like some pictures are really dark, so I don't put them here. But if they're visible, like this is one of my favorite. She's standing on the railroad. So this is me in Las Vegas. It's a pretty fun picture too. And then cute and cute, cute, like bunch of cute ones. I love the compilations where you see the random ear that you get in the mail and then you get the postcard and all of that. Mix. This is one of the first mix and match uh, pictures. It's Fred and Lily, so that's cool. And then, so obviously this is Toby. Toby posted this. It's him wearing. So it actually fits on a guy's foot pretty well. And I've noticed that his heel was also fitting like nicely. It was not too small. It was just a little too short. And then these guys, like three of them with the postcard. And this is me in Mexico. And this is a couple of my pictures. Um, but there is more. Oh, my friend Katie, she's cute. She's made for socks like this. And I think this one, yeah. So this one is like Spank is in the snow and there's a doggy. And I've been trying to add them uh, to my wall as much as possible. Oh, look, it's Moosh Walks and Moosh Shoes. Those are actually shoes I came out with a while ago. Too much talking about my product, but I'm so passionate, so please forgive me. Please don't hate me for it. I'm so, like, I live and breathe and everything, these socks now, because it's just, like, my life, and I've been always wanting to make them, and now they're here, so now I just want everyone to know about it, and I want to sell them at Urban Outfitters, and I'm trying to figure out how to do that, and it's been really difficult. I literally have been, like, staying up till 3 o'clock in the morning trying to figure out how I can do it on my own, and it's been really tough. Um... But I would love for you like to go to Urban Outfitters and be like, I'm buying moosh walks from a physical location. Like that's one of my dreams. So hopefully, fingers crossed, it's gonna happen this year. And um, and if it does, then I'll make more designs. And I have such a big plan for them, and I'm really excited. So if I talk too much, tell me to shut up. But I will. If you don't tell me to shut up, I will talk about it for a while. Anyways, go get a book, uh, get an inspirational book. The reason I came up with this sock idea is because I read Jack Canfield's book. It's called Principles of Success. And it's not that he said, Olga, make socks. It's just the things that he did say in that book, and I listened to it four times, it was just very inspirational and kind of rewired my brain. And I came up with the sock idea and the website idea and a couple of other ideas. It just like came to me all of a sudden. So um, I would recommend it if you want to get a free book. Audible.com slash Olga. What are you doing? What, what are you doing? doing? I guess the answer here is to be in an open relationship. No, that's a terrible <laughs> idea too. Because she is so pretty, but she is not me. I have in mind like longer lo whoa, I have my ass hair. Would you trim it? Babe, would you trim my ass hair? That's what I have. Okay, I'll sit down. Why am I standing? This is a glitch, right?